The good news for the Leafs, after going down in practice, they say Ilya Samsonov is going to be fine. But it had to make the Leafs think, even momentarily, if Samsonov is out and Joseph Wall is number one, what then? Wall only has 11 career regular season starts. What do you think, Frankie? If they needed to lean significantly more heavily on Joseph Wall, would they be okay? They would be. And let me ask you something. Did we not know that Ilya Samsonov was going to be hurt at some point fragile. this season? Yeah. He was hurt last year. He was hurt when he played for the Washington Capitals. I don't think anyone was going into this season thinking that Ilya Samsonov was going to be healthy and available for 82 games this year. So there has to be some level of confidence that Joseph Wall could carry the mail when asked upon. But yes, you don't want to see your starting goaltender go down. And one of the big question marks for Ilya Samsonov this season is going to be you are the number one guy now. As much as it may be a tandem, he is still the guy whereas last year he was kind of thrust into that position going 1a 1b with Matt Murray and he didn't have to worry about the pressure going through the whole summer arbitration knowing that wall is going to be secondary to him there's a little more pressure this year so there's two things that are on the back burner for Ilya Samsonov can he handle the pressure of being a number one guy and can he stay healthy and available for a full season can the Leafs count on Joseph Wall to step in and fill in for Samsonov long term if he's injured or would that cause major problems for the Leafs? That wouldn't cause major problems at all. I, Frankie, I, I can't believe you're saying that. This is a vet. This is a team that's loaded with high-end skill that they're finally building, building, building. And then you're going to say to them, "Hey, Austin. Hey, uh, Mitch. Uh, no big deal. But we got a guy back here who's only had 11 regular season starts. Really? Well, think about what this team went through with Eric Shelgren. He was a third string, fourth string guy. He was actually behind Joseph Wall on the depth chart. But the only reason why he got to play was be was because Joseph Wall was hurt. And they won games with Eric Shelgren. He got them through some tumultuous times with this team. So Joseph Wall is knocking on the door to be this team's goaltender of the future. He has an opportunity here to cement himself even more ahead if Ilya Samsonov is going to miss time. I don't think they're worried about it at all. And if you talk to goalie people, talk to Noodles, talk to Marty Biron. They like this guy. They like his demeanor. They like the way he moves in the Down net. the road. I have yet to see or talk to one goalie guy that isn't high on Joseph Wall. Tell me what you think about that. I, I, I understand what you're saying, and I'm saying down the road, give it an opportunity to develop. But right now is what the Leafs are talking about. He's not a 20-year-old kid, right? Like, he's not just coming into the league. Yeah. He's older. He's he's established himself as one of the best goaltenders in the American Hockey League, and that's the progression. Do well in the American Hockey League. Get your opportunity in yeah. the NHL. Jordan Bennington came up with the St. Louis Blues after a long time in the AHL, and he won them a Stanley Cup. It's been done before where young goaltenders make their mark at a somewhat of a young age, Joseph Wall can do that if he gets the opportunity this year. More the exception than the rule. I think you have to agree with that. The Leafs open up the season Wednesday on home ice against the Habs. Whether it's Samson off or Wall, they'll be making their first ever opening night season debut with the Leafs. That's because Matt Murray started game one last season.